K-I-L-R Killer game Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots, I am the Killer Gamer, little under the weather, but that's okay because we're back with the Commodore 64 World Tour featuring Sublogic uh, Flight Simulator 2 uh, for the Commodore 64. It's been a long time since the last episode. I've been wanting to get back to this series, and <clears throat> this year of 2023, we hit a thousand subscribers and I wanted to come up with some special videos to celebrate the 1000 uh, subs <clears throat> It happened more quickly than I thought. <laughs> so I, I, it, I wasn't able to get the videos even started, but I decided, Hey, why not bring back, all the old favorites uh, that you folks came here to start off with. So that's why we're, we're getting back to the world tour right from where we left off. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Okay, right here, Mount Pleasant. That is where we're currently at. <clears throat> and we're not going to be flying very far. We're going over here to tri city and we'll be tuning in to 112.9 for saginaw this is the tri city mbs international uh airport at least here it's just called tri city so we'll go ahead and set uh nav one to 112.9 There we go, 29.4 miles, not very far at all. Great way to get back into the tour. So we're going to go ahead to the end of the runway here. Let's see, what is the... Okay, so it looks like a heading of 108 is what we need. Remember on the last episode, this runway was hard to find? because <laughs> it was dark. And the ground is just all the same color as the, uh, the runway. All right, let's get turned around here. We're also on another emulator. This is the Vice C64 emulator. So I'm no longer using 
uh, CCS 64. <clears throat> that one's not being updated anymore. This one is, I believe. I forgot to mention, I have a shirt for Flight sim Simulator. I've been making my own outfits and stuff. So this has got a bunch of planes on it. It's got uh, <coughs> jet airliners. It's got a couple of uh, general aviation. Kind of hard to. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, I'm sure I'll have some. Uh, bigger pictures and video where you'll be able to see it and I'm going to be working on some other outfits uh, that's you know for flight simulator so I'm just working on different types of stuff uh, <clears throat> you know to just kind of build up a, a image personality something like that anyways we are ready to go. Put down one thing of flaps. Get the elevator up. And off we go. Oh yeah, the other thing. <laughs> Last time we left off, I just had, you know, a regular work at home job. Now I drive a semi truck. Who would have thought? I know I didn't. <laughs> All right, we're airborne. My voice sounds like crap. <laughs> on up there all right got the flaps raised we're gonna get ourselves over to 108 Let's not go too high in uh, elevation either, because we're not going that far. I'd say, what, about 3,000 feet? That should probably do it. Now, uh, since this series, I have done another series. It's been streaming on Twitch and then coming over to YouTube. And it is a coast-to-coast -coast, uh, series from west to east. And I decided to do that because I wasn't sure if I was ever going to finish this series because we're hopping not to every airport, but we're kind of hopping around and checking out the scenery discs and stuff. 
I know there's not a lot to look at, but you know you're getting the you're getting the full experience of what it would be like if you were flying this, you know, back in 1984, and you know using your imagination and just going to the different airports and stuff. That's pretty much what we're doing here. But the coast to coast, I wanted to have something that would be a complete flight from one end of the U.S. to the other end of the U.S. So, you're, um, if you want to see that, uh, there's going to be a link up on the screen. I hope, <laughs> if I remember to put it there. Um, and don't forget that this series has a playlist uh, also. So if you're just now joining in, uh, you could go back and rewatch or watch, if you haven't seen them, uh, all the episodes prior to this one. And we duplicate this flight with the Commodore Amiga and Flight Simulator 3. Commodore Amiga is going to be a bit limited because it doesn't have uh, scenery discs on the west half. Flight Simulator 3 has scenery disc 12, which Commodore 64 does not have. <laughs> so, they're going to be kind of branching off here and there. Flight Simulator 4 and the simulators uh, after that, they all branched off in a different direction because the sublogic scenery discs don't go in that area. They were never completed. Why are we still going up? Oh, now I know why. Because I didn't set the uh, altimeter. <laughs> Whoops. Guess I better fix that. Yeah, so I got a lot of stuff going on. Um, the trucking takes a lot of time, a lot of energy out of me. Uh, so I'm going to be batch recording a lot of these episodes. So if for the next two, three episodes I still sound like I'm sick, that's why. It's not because I've been sick for the past three months. <laughs> Just at the time of filming. I'm slowly getting better, I think. My voice is all shot, though. <clears throat> so I'm waiting for my voice to come back before I do, uh, like, the Shep Rambles series and... Uh, some of the other things that I want to bring back and some new stuff I want to work on. And that's another reason why I'm batch recording a lot of these uh, shows so I can get them scheduled out so that way you folks that came here originally for the Commodore 64 World Tour or maybe one of the other ones you're going to get what you came for. You're going to you're going to you're going to be able to watch those series. You know, and if you want to watch the other stuff that's on the channel, that's great. But if not, that's fine too. I want to make sure that you got you get the content that you came here for. Because I appreciate you. And you folks have been here with me when? When we only had like two hundred view yet <laughs> subscribers or something? <laughs> I forget how many we had back then. I've got a way I could look. I can get out look. Uh, 
yeah, I just need to look at the history of my channel, see when it was that I started the uh, Commodore 64 series, and just see how many subscribers I had at that time. I know we didn't have that much. It was like somewhere between 100 and 200, I think. Now I'm like curious. <laughs> there are only 28 videos when there's like 37 in total. That doesn't make sense. I think I need to bring up my uh, playlist and see what's going on. See, that looks a little, well, maybe a little better. go. Okay, that playlist looks right. Four years ago. That's when we started. So that was back in 2019. Alright, so how many subscribers did I have back in 2019? Let's find out. I got 1,018 as of right now. 2019. I don't know. It doesn't say. <laughs> it was it was showing like how many I was getting at the time, but it did. ah darn. I was hoping it would be able to give me well, see more. Maybe that that'll tell me. Yeah, that doesn't really tell me. It doesn't, yeah, shoot. I was really hoping it would. Line chart, bar chart, maybe? No. <laughs> oh, well. We didn't have many. I'll tell you that. All right, we got the airport. Woohoo! Should have a couple of runways we can use. And we just got to find them. Alright, let's go ahead and drop some flaps. Oh, I think I see one. Well, I mean, I see one, but I think I see the other. I think we're heading towards it, too. something else I discovered too 
since the last time we had an episode the mixture on this works because it chews up fuel like crazy but if you take that mixture and you bring it down it actually lasts longer so that mixture does actually work unlike the transponder which doesn't do anything So you can kind of see it. There's a diagonal right here. I believe that's it there. We might be able to get it's got it's a short runway. Um let's see if I can It's a runway 5 and 23 and a 14, 32. Okay, so runway 14. Uh, let's change VOR 1. It's a 140. That should help us. All right, we'll bring down another thing of flaps here. Altitude is 669. So we need to we need to hustle and get our way down here. See, can you see it? Can you see the other runway? It's right here. I'll, the long one's obvious, but here's the other one right here. A little bit of a challenge there. Oh, you know what's crazy? Since uh, since the time I've been a trucker, I've actually driven through the areas that we flew in, <laughs> that we started off. You know, Chicago. I went through Kankakee and Champaign and Peoria, Quad City. I've yeah, been through all that. That's crazy. Alright, we got our last thing of flaps here. give ourselves a little bit of a turn here we don't want to overshoot the runway
Look at Vor number one. Getting kind of close to 140. I don't think it's exact, but we're getting close. There we go. We'll move over here to the intersection. We got some sticks. <laughs> out there in the distance. Right there. All right, we'll go ahead and shut it off there. My goodness, we're back. We're back with the World Tour. Killer Gamers World Tour for... Sublogic Fly Simulator 2 for the Commodore 64. So welcome back, everyone. Glad you're here. And uh, with all of you folks uh, joining and subscribing and clicking that notification bell, uh, I'll continue to feel better and better and better, and I might come back to normal. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next flight. Have a killer, awesome day.